Alright, what's happening YouTube? What's happening me and Car Keys family? Welcome back to the channel, me and Car Keys. Today's video is about gasoline. Gasoline. So we did a video uh, a couple weeks ago on the differences between running E85 in your flex fuel vehicle versus running regular unleaded. And we had some interesting uh, results from that experiment. Check that video out it's if you would like to. It's up here somewhere. So it gave me the idea to do the same experiment. This time we're gonna run Unleaded Plus. And I wanna see what the difference is between fuel economy and also power. See if there's some, some sort of difference. After that, we're gonna do premium gas and do the same thing. So we have 51 miles left and we're almost on E. This is a good time for us to go ahead and uh, do this experiment. So we're going to reset our trip meter Right here, uh, we're on, uh, averaging 17 miles per gallon right now, and that's me running E85 and then running uh, back to regular unleaded and going back to E85. And yeah, I've been, just been doing whatever it has been the most cost efficient at the time. So we're gonna reset there. We're gonna reset trip one. Back. Somebody's watching me, and I got no privacy. Y'all see this? 5761. No! 57. 5761 to fill up with. Let us pray. Yeah, I'm doing this for y'all. Right? You just remember, I'm doing this experiment. For you guys, okay? <laughs> it ain't even been two weeks. It's been like a week and three days, y'all. We are back at my truck's favorite spot, gas station. So one of the variables we wanted to control last time was that we didn't go to the same gas station. This time we're at the exact same gas station and we're gonna keep it consistent throughout the entire experiment. We're at the exact same gas station, racetrack. Let me show you where we're at. There you have it. These are results for our, what was supposed to be two weeks, but ended up being like a week and three days. These are results for plus gas. We are at 19.2 miles per gallon. So if we do our average fuel economy there. 83 miles to E. Average 19 miles, 19.2 miles per gallon. The difference here I'm noticing is that plus gas burned a little quicker, right? We were trying to do two week experiments and this gas didn't last me two weeks. It lasted me a week and three days. The only thing that I can say for sure was different was that we were running the AC, right? It's a little warmer outside. It's, it's actually 81 degrees today. So it's a lot warmer than it was last time. So I've been running the AC a lot in the last week and a half. So that's the only thing I can say that's different, which may attribute to why it burned quicker. So we're on to the next part, which is premium. <sighs> premium gas is 325, y'all. 93. Y'all, the tank just stopped at 56. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more in there because that don't make no sense. Are you serious? 325-5701. Y'all saying what I'm saying, right? I'm not saying this by myself. Y'all are saying this, right? Okay. I'm a little confused here. Uh, did we just pay less for, did we just pay more for premium, but end up spending less for the total? I'm confused. I'm gonna go back and look. At, I didn't and look at the results from the last one because I'm a little confused at this point. Tell me if you see anything weird in the situation.
anyway, um, other than that, I will say I've only driven about half a mile, and I know there's a little difference in premium. Yeah, it's a, there's a difference in premium, I will say that. And I can feel it just from hitting the throttle. It's, it seems like throttle response is a little quicker. Um, it seems to be running smoother. I don't know. It, there's something different. I can't really pinpoint what it is. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you in two weeks. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe it'll be another week and a half. We'll see. So uh, we did reset our trip meter. I mean, our uh, MPG meter. We did reset that uh, before we left the gas station. So we can get an accurate reading of what premium does. See you next time. A week a week and three days <laughs> we made it a week and three days again on uh we're on premium gas this time and i'm going to show you where we are trip one 19.4 miles per gallon there it is this is premium right here 19.4 miles a gallon uh, at fuel academy 19.5 miles per gallon 78 miles to e so i haven't compiled all the results together yet i'm gonna do that when i get home but before i leave the gas station i'm gonna go ahead and fill up fill fill up fuel up fill up <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and fill up the gas tank and of course we're going back to e85 because that is the cheapest thing out uh, just to show you what gas costs right now e85 is two dollars and 33 cents Regular unleaded is 273 and it goes up from there. I'm not even gonna say the rest of it, it goes up from there. So we're going right back to E85. Hey y'all, I'm pretty sure this car does not move. I'm pretty sure it never moves. It's there every time I come here in the same spot and nobody's sitting in it every time. Back at the house and we're gonna go through our results here. So before we go through our results, I wanted to talk about the issue from the last time we filled up when we filled up on premium. So we noticed that we paid more per gallon, but ended up paying less in total for premium than we did when we got plus. And I was trying to figure out why, and it took me editing this video to figure out what the difference was. And it was actually very simple. The tank wasn't as empty. But when we filled up on plus, we had 51 miles left to empty. When we filled up on premium, we had 83 miles left 83 miles left to empty. And that's a big difference. 30 miles, 32 miles makes a big difference. So that's why we ended up paying less for premium because we ended up putting less fuel in. Here are our results. For E85, 16.5 miles per gallon. For regular unleaded, 19 miles per gallon. For plus, 19.2 miles per gallon. And for premium, 19.4 miles per gallon. Now I'm not gonna get into the difference in the types of gas but each level of gas is different. They all have different makeups. They all uh, even serve different purposes. And there are a lot of other things that determine miles per gallon. Uh, a lot of factors from the type of driver, whether you drive fast all the time, you drive slow. Uh, even the temperature outside can make a difference in miles per gallon. I mean, whether you run the AC or not, a lot of things. Now, as far as horsepower, like I said, it depends on the driver. Uh, but I did feel a big difference in the E85 and I also felt somewhat of a difference in premium. In premium, it felt like the truck was running smooth. It was effortlessly going up and down hills. Uh, acceleration was a lot easier, a lot smoother. So E85, I mean, so premium, premium by far I would say is the most efficient gas to run in your, in your vehicle. It's also the most expensive, of course. So the big difference here is E85, E85 was only 16.5 miles per gallon. When you look at the other three, there wasn't that much of a difference in miles per gallon. Like it's a 0.2 MPG difference in each one. So if you're paying, so you're paying 325 for premium, but you're paying $3 for regular, I mean, you do the math, it's not much of a difference. Now, if you have to drive a car that requires premium gas you have to run premium gas you have a flex fuel vehicle you can take your pick uh as for me probably just going back to regular um i've been doing what was most the most cost efficient for the last couple months because gas has been fluctuating especially with summertime coming up you never know where gas is going to be 
So I've been kind of fluctuating between E85 and regular. Probably gonna stay there. Yep. So thank you for watching this uh, gas experiment on the channel. I uh, hope you got something out of it. I hope it helps you out a little bit. Uh, so what fuel do you run in your car? E85, regular, premium, plus? Let me know. Put it in the comments below. Let me know how uh, you feel about gas. Till next time, thank you for watching.